Hello, my name is Richard Kinney. And my name is Paul Lake. I spent my 33-year teaching career entirely in Clovis Unified, teaching middle school and high school science, and I spent about one-third of my career on the faculty senate. My career in Clovis began in 1990, teaching middle school math and science at Kastner and Alta Sierra, and then physics at Buchanan High School for the next 27 years. We both retired in 2020. Both of us were there with you, uh, teaching remotely for the last three months of that year during the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. We loved working in Clovis. The energy, the camaraderie, the drive to improve um, and enhance our performance every year. Like so many of you, we invested 100% of our mind, body, and spirit into enhancing the lives of our students through our teaching practice and co-curricular activities such as science fair, science olympiad, and robotics. The goals in our district, it's history, the vision of Doc's charge, the teamwork between staff and administration and teachers gave us great pride in being Clovis teachers. We deeply appreciated the support of the community from the governing board, administrators, parents, and our fellow teachers and supporting staff. We felt like we were part of a team supporting each other as we worked uh, to offer a safe, fun, and challenging learning environment for our students. Unfortunately, when the governing board unanimously voted to ignore the CDC and State of California Department of Health pandemic guidelines, we felt as if every CUSD staff member had been stabbed in the back, and us too. Top leadership chose political expediency over science and common sense. They wanted you to risk your health and possibly your lives to get students back into the classrooms long before we knew what was going on with this awful virus. I was stunned at this foolish decision and immediately knew that teachers, staff needed more representation beyond the faculty senate. We realized that teachers needed a powerful voice of representation, something much greater than the relatively weak and often ignored faculty senate. So where do we go from here? How can teachers be represented with a powerful voice so that our health, our compensation, and our working conditions allow us to serve our students and to raise our families? What's the answer? Ace! Ace, Ace is, is the, the answer. answer! Thank you. Duh! Yeah! Heck yeah!